we are now going to Johnny G, um, author of Villains One. So Johnny, glad you're able to join us. Um, you can take the Zoom screen. Uh, thank you again for having me. I'm sorry for being late. I'm not really used to all the uh, the technology, but yeah, uh, yeah. My name is Johnny G's. I'm the author of Villains One, Case of a Smooth Operator, and it's a, a, a book about six detectives on a hunt for a serial killer in Detroit. And uh, the main character is called Back Off Leave, One Leave, uh, to help solve a case because the police are, you know, running out of leads. And he joins these five detectives hunting down this serial killer who seems to uh, leave his victims in public every three days. So uh, during the book, uh, they follow leads to take them all over the city. And uh, uh, soon after they get to really tracking this villain down, the case turns on them where he starts to hunt them down. And the lead detective is uh, going through you know, a few issues and stuff. He's got a new partner, which is Maria Sanchez. And uh, he happens to be the nephew of Alex Cross, which I really based a lot of this, this novel on. I was a fan of uh, Alex Cross, uh, the Morgan Freeman character, basically. And so uh, this was like my first time dealing with this. I'm usually into science fiction slasher this is my first detective horror and uh it takes you all over the city if you live in detroit uh you will actually be able to mentally visual these streets i'm very detailed something that i kind of got from a donald groin's books he you know detailed streets where they turned and so forth and uh from the people that actually read it uh, they liked it. I mean, I try to uh, make sure that every fifth page is so it's about something. Every five pages, it's about something, you know. And then, uh, like I said, the case takes these six detectives in different directions, but eventually they come together. And by that time, they pretty much know that you know they're in danger, and the entire city is unaware at the beginning. But once it's known, the entire city pretty shuts down sort of like the fear that's going on now with you no know, cold or something like that and uh it's it's interesting you know uh, a few people read it and i'm just glad people like it i you know for my first detective movie i mean not movie but book <laughs> where they turns into a movie uh they like it I'm sorry about being nervous because, you know, I've seen these professionals up here. <laughs> but uh, but hopefully uh, you go out and get a copy and you will enjoy it. Everybody seems to uh, have questions. Some people talk about what's going to happen next in the next book and, and so forth, which I told them I don't know yet. <laughs> no. Thank you, Johnny. And no need to be nervous. We're all amongst friends here. Um, does anyone have questions? You can, if you want, if it's easier to wave your hand, we can just call on you rather than putting your name in the chat box. Thank you. Yeah, Donald. Um, what decided you to change from science fiction to mystery? Uh, well, I wanted to actually try to deal with something that could actually happen instead of something, you know, made up, you know, like, I was, I'm big into, like, the thing and stuff, but, you know, that might not happen. So I remember as a kid, uh, one of the things that is in this book is about how women are attracted to cars. This is what the, the killer usually uses to draw his victims is, is these cars he uses. He switches them up. And I always thought that, well, then that'd be something interesting to write about the dangers of, you know, these, you know, how women are attracted to cars and, and basically go up to these cars with men they don't even know. And I think that's dangerous. So I switched over. At first, this was supposed to have been an episode of New York Undercover back then. 
but then they changed up the show and stuff and then said that I liked Alex Cross movies with Morgan Freeman. I switched over to Detroit and still used that as the driving force behind the entire story. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, Sherry. Welcome, Sherry. Hi, John. Hi, Hi Johnny. It sounds as if um, it's interesting. It sounds as if you're very influenced um, by different things. And I know with authors, sometimes they, um, you know, we write books and then we think maybe this could be a movie, but it sounds like writing. Um, particularly in this book, that movies have a huge influence on the writing of the book. Would you say that's that's right? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, this really goes back to uh, a movie that I liked as a teenager uh, called uh, Manhunter. You know, I was a fan of you know, it's Michael Michael Mann, and he's similar to that. So I wanted to actually write a character that was smart but still had his issues. I didn't want to make him perfect. And uh, and then I threw some spice in there with him having a female partner because I was tired of the two men solving a case. Like, let me throw a female in there, which is, to me, really the hardest part because I have to ask females, you know, what would they say? I don't want it to just be me, you know, what a man would think, you know. So I would ask, you know, females, what, you know, what would you say if this happened? Now, I try to include that in, but yeah, I'm, I'm influenced by a lot of stuff. Movies, mainly, you know, going to the theater as a getaway, you know, growing up. All right, well, we do have a link um, in the chat box if you're interested in getting a copy of the book. Um, Johnny, how can people follow you if they want to find out more about you? Well, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm a John G three sixty two on Instagram, and on Facebook is Johnny G's Villains One, where you can uh, get an update on what I'm doing. Uh, right now, I'm I'm a, in the process of writing uh, something on the flat Earth theory, uh, back to science fiction, basically. And then I'm still lining up for maybe a uh, part two to this book. But uh, what I'm thinking about is not using the same characters, but same department, and then probably bring uh, Avenue and Sanchez back. But um, uh, you're going to enjoy this book, though. If you get it, you enjoy it. So from what people say, it's a mental roller coaster, a lot of twists. And then the ending. <laughs> I'm not gonna give it away, but yeah, everybody's has you know, something about the ending. You know, it's like uh, they they thinking it's gonna happen one way, and it, it just it doesn't. Well, don't we won't spoil it if anyone wants to get a copy oh. and read it for themselves. <laughs> um, well, thank you. It's it's a pleasure meeting you on Zoom. I'm so glad you're here. And okay. uh, thank, you. thank you so much for joining in today.